Hello and welcome to the Best of Health. I'm Dr. Chris Steele and today I'm going to discuss a gluten-free diet. So what is this? Well, before tackling the gluten-free diet, let's get to know a little about gluten itself, which is actually a specific type of protein, but one you won't find in meat or eggs where you normally expect to find protein. Instead, gluten is found in foods such as wheat, rye and barley and going gluten-free means avoiding these grains. The gluten-free diet isn't always easy. People who benefit generally need to stick with a diet for life. And that means giving up many staple foods such as bread and pasta and treats like cakes and biscuits. But going gluten-free has even become a lifestyle choice for some people such as Djokovic, the tennis player, who went on to a winning streak of over 40 matches and rose to world number one after going gluten-free. Maybe because it's seen as a diet choice for some, companies are sprouting up and providing a great variety of new products with whole ranges of gluten-free foods. So it's getting easier and easier to find gluten-free alternatives. And of course, careful planning can help you stay gluten-free long term. A gluten-free diet is essential for most people with gluten sensitivities or celiac disease, a condition that I myself suffer with, and this can cause intestinal damage when gluten is eaten. For most people with celiac disease, even small amounts of gluten can cause symptoms like wind and bloating, changes in bowel habits, weight loss, fatigue and weakness. And that's why going gluten-free can be a big help, no matter how mild or serious your symptoms.